Are you still considering buying the OnePlus 12? Think it's worth spending almost 70,000 on this device? Don't just go by the hype because it's a OnePlus. There's lots that you don't know. So see if you're convinced after watching my five point review of the OnePlus 12. It's a solid design, but not that different from the OnePlus 11. The buttons have been shifted around, so that's new. The sandstone finish is super cool, but makes the phone a bit buttery like in your hands. Slippery indeed. I like that the phone comes with an IR blaster, so thumbs up there. And the design also, no problems here. Now 4000 nits of peak brightness? Are you serious? Yeah, it's a good display, but 4500 nits just seems overkill. It's a 6.8 in screen, plenty of colors, Gorilla Glass protection and perfect for content. Do check out our review which gives you an in-depth look at the display performance. You don't want to miss that. Okay, so the phone's got no AI, so it's not that cool. Speaking of cool, there is a big vapor chamber cooling system, so the heat management is taken care of. Some of the top specs here are a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, handles gaming, multitasking, movies, shooting, everything easily. Oh, it's waterproof and got stereo speakers which are boom. But again, a more in-depth look in our full review if you really want to dive into the details of the performance. I wasn't as impressed with the camera. Yes, the results look more real, less saturated and not Insta ready. But again, some people would like that. You're getting a 3x optical zoom on this phone and the overall video performance is decent. I strongly suggest you head to Fiber's YouTube channel and watch the full video of the OnePlus 12 review because it gives you more details about the camera as well. Maybe then you will know why I am not impressed with the camera system. Also, the review link is in the description as well. Uh, the battery life is decent. I mean, the dash charge helps with some quick juice, but uh, I didn't have any problems with the phone's battery to be honest. You can easily get more than a day's charge. I have broken down the charging time in the full review so you can check that out as well. So 70,000 for the OnePlus 12. It's tricky. You have many options in this segment. There is the Vivo X100, the Xiaomi 14. So where does the OnePlus 12 stand out? I think it's the battery and the Oxygen OS experience that makes the overall UI feel look better. But again, watch the full review if you want to know more details about the OnePlus 12. If you're still watching tech videos the old and boring way, you need to stop right now. Tech should never be boring and Fiber by India today is here to make sure of that. We've got the latest reviews, gadgets and a whole lot of cool tech yarn just for you in a fun and snackable format. Oh, we're in Hindi as well. So come to Fiber if you want to watch tech that's fun.